Spirit. Amen. Amen. The healing of soul and body. Amen. Amen. Unto the hearing of faith. Amen. Thy hands have made and fashioned me. Amen. That he may walk in the way of the commandments. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. Of the Holy Spirit. You don't have a lot to work with. <laughs> and congratulations to you. Your family has expanded, which also means your responsibilities have expanded before God and before this church. Um, I'm going to give you my homily. I always give a homily at baptisms. I'm going to do that during the Divine Liturgy. What a prosperous and peaceful life, now salvation, visitation, and furtherance of all things, to thy servant, Joel, and his sponsor, Vincent, and preserve them for many.
Just as the Holy Spirit came upon the Theotokos and she gave birth to Christ, today a new believer must be born in the waters of baptism by the power of that same Holy Spirit. So what was it that took place this morning? What is the meaning of the rites that Joel went through this morning? So today we begin with Joel making his life confession. Right? What's a life confession? Well, for those born and raised in the church, you probably haven't had to do one. But those who convert have to do one, where they confess all their sins that they could ever remember doing. Every sin he could remember from his youth until today was confessed. <clears throat> Why? That sounds really brutal. It is kind of brutal. Yeah, that's true. But we begin with James 5.16. We read this. Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Godfather Vincent, remember as the Godfather, it's your role to vouch for Joel. Make sure he abides by the faith and continues to keep Christ in attendance at services the center of his life. Now what's the best way to model this? Is it to tell him? Is it to call him? It's to model it in your own behavior. Show him first, tell him later. And for the rest of us, May we welcome this newborn in the church, just as we prepare to welcome the newborn Christ at his nativity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.